Hanging in the backyard, sun is shining, it's Friday, fine selection of tasty suds. Cause this is what we're gonna be doing. And I'm pretty happy to be with this person. It's Chelsea, everybody, from, uh, from Cowbell. What's going on in your backyard? Thanks for coming to my backyard oasis, uh, Tim. I was gonna say, this is a pretty good backyard yeah. to be hanging in. Yeah, and this is what we're gonna be doing all summer long. Yeah, right, okay. So anybody, let's get to Cowbell, okay? Yeah. Anybody that doesn't know Cowbell, so where are you guys located? So we're located in Blythe, which is in Huron County. Um, it's a town of about a thousand people. So I'd say 20 minutes from Godridge, uh, 26,000 square foot brewery. We got a complete amazing um, outdoor patio. We got a food truck. We have um, a green space with picnic tables. Um, and we are completely carbon neutral. So we're the first carbon neutral brewery in North America. Um, complete sustainability in terms of being a closed loop brewery, which that means we just um, treat all the water on site so there's no water wastage and we give back to the four children's hospitals in Ontario. Cool. I want to get to that in a second but I want to yes. get to you're a Hamilton gal. Okay. Yes, born and That's, raised. We're in Hamilton right now. This is your territory. Yes. So from where to like Oakville to... So if you see that cowbell vehicle from Oakville to Fort Erie and you pull up beside it's going to be me ringing that cowbell. <laughs> <laughs> what did I pour here? You just poured the uh, rosé cider, so it's a brand new spring summer seasonal. As you can see, the color it's like very champagne-y. It's beautiful, light, dry, crisp, five percent at the LCBO and your local grocery stores for three fifty-five a tall can, um, and it's very floral. It's been aged on hibiscus, so it's just nice, refreshing, and very dry. Kind of got like a wine taste to it. You got the summer collection. It's sitting on. Mm -hmm. What's mm -hmm. the summer collection? So our summer collection is. Honestly, a great, easy, convenient, pick it up at your local grocery store or um, LCBO. We got our three fan favorites in there, and then we have three exclusives that we just put in there for the summer. So we got our pomegranate honeysuckle fruit sour, that's a mouthful. Um, well we have a hazy pale ale, and of course we have a sour, which is the mango lychee, and who doesn't want that uh, for the summertime? But one thing that's really awesome about this summer collection pack is every time you pick up a six pack, $1 is going back to support McMaster Children's Hospital. In your territory? In so my territory. So anything from Oakville to Fort Erie? Oakville to Fort Erie, $1 goes back to support McMaster Children's Hospital. Amazing. You know what's better to do with beer? Is to pair it with something delicious. And we got the man here to do that. We got Scotty Bailey. Hey, Scotty. Morning, buddy. <laughs> um, from City Farm. And they've created this new snack shack. So we'll take a break. We'll come back to see what he's uh, got going for us besides this delicious pizza. And then uh, maybe we'll have uh, Chelsea back to. Chat a, a few more things, uh, Cowbell, as we get ready for the summer season on this Friday morning. Hanging in the backyard on this beautiful Friday morning, enjoying some tasty brews from Cowbell responsibly, but we need to pair that with something delicious. So I think we got the man for the job. Scott Bailey, chef from City Farm. And you got some exciting things happening, pal. We do, we definitely do. Well, and listen, okay. We could recap the year quickly because anybody isn't familiar, City Farm, you're caterers, right? We are caterers, yes. Which has kind of changed the past year. Which isn't allowed right now. Yeah, so then you shifted into City Farm and you're doing curbside pickup. Curbside pickup, so okay. we, we branded Snack Shack. City Farm Snack Shack is our new uh, company, completely new company. So basically it does all the fun food that we wanted to do, and we used to do at weddings, but now you can come pick it up and take out. You don't have to have a, a wedding or an event or a, an occasion. And you also have a good partnership with uh, local golf course? Knollwood Golf Course, yes. We just partnered with them, the old and new. So this summer, we are now in their facility, Fridays and Saturdays, but uh, when the course opens, seven days a week. Nice, what do you got for us today? Today we're gonna do our buttermilk fried chicken sandwich. So I have some crispy fries for you. Gonna do a little smoke salt on there. Do you gotta double fry those babies to make them that crispy? Oh, you do, you have to. So these guys will just lay on there in a big, big heap. Oh, you don't shy away on those. No. Okay. The sandwich we'll build next. We'll build it right on here for you. Sure, man. So we have our crispy buttermilk fried chicken. So you gotta use, is the, are these thighs or these breasts? These are thighs. Thighs are always better, right? Two nice thighs on there, you got it. So we're gonna put some of our buttermilk ranch, just a little. Any secret ingredients in there? Buttermilk and ranch. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> a couple other ones, but we can't let you know. This is a maple habanero. A little spice to it? A little spice. Some of our city farm slaw. Is it, is it dill in there? There's dill in there. Dill, cilantro, mint, chives. 
Finish oh, it off. Yes, this is the key ingredient. A couple don't pickles. Be, don't be shy in those pickles. And then voila. And a nice little squish down to get out some of the juices. Okay, you also got your pizza too. You really know for your pizzas and your ribs. What are the, some of the pizzas you got here? So the pizza we have here, we have our fine diner. So that is salt crushed potatoes, caramelized onions, pickle mushrooms, garlic confit, and blueberry preserve. That's our, uh, our classy pizza. And then on the other side of that, you have the uncle's cousin, because everybody sees that guy at the wedding. And you're like, who is he? He's How many times have you outrageous, seen that guy? <laughs> and he's funny, and that's the uncle's cousin. I love the crazy uncle. Uh, I'm actually, I think I'm becoming the crazy uncle, to be honest. Spicy soppressata, prosciutto, roasted peppers, a little bit of smoked cheddar, mozzarella, and our house-made tomato. Okay, we'll take a break, because we want to talk about the ribs. You got this fish and chip recipe that is out of this world that we'll get to also. We still also have Chelsea from Cowbell coming back, too, uh, to get you ready for summers in our backyard. I'm morning live. Yeah, it's Friday. Calls for some delicious ribs from Snack Shack by City Farm. Back here in the backyard with uh, Chef Scott Bailey. Yes, guy. Couple ribs for you. Right. What's the, what's the sauce on there? Uh, we do like it's like a smoked barbecue. And then the ribs themselves, so we sous vide them. So we brine them for three days and then we sous vide them for 12 hours at 78 degrees. And then we cut them and we finish them in the oven with the barbecue sauce. What kind of rib? Those are uh, St. Louis pork ribs. St. Louis pork, okay. Um, so we made the chicken sandwich. So this is, so if, if you missed the last segment, so Snack Shack is, is from City Farm. City but this Farm. is kind of your curbside. A chapter of City Farm. Yeah, this is our, Farm. Our, our sister company, the takeout portion. Takeout stuff that you can also get at uh, Knollwood Golf Course. At Knollwood right? Golf Course. So on the weekends right now. Friday, Saturday right now. And then when we open to the public, it's going to be seven days a week. Okay. Fish and chips, baby. It is Fish Friday, right? Chips. It so is Friday. So here we have some haddock. Why haddock? Um, I just like it for the fish and chips. Like I would either use haddock or halibut. It's something that's, uh, you know, it's not too expensive and uh, it's a good fish. It's not fishy, it's light, flaky. So this method, we just dredge it lightly. This is a charged whipped cream gun, but with beer batter in it. Oh, nice. And that just aerates it. So I'm just gonna cover it a bit from the camera so it doesn't splash. So we just give it a, a nice coating. The matter of the beer you use in there? It doesn't really. It's all dependent on what you want to use. Obviously today it's cowbell. Cowbell today. Subtle plug. So from there it's nice bubbly aerated. So when we drop that in the deep fryer, it's going to get a really nice light crisp on it. Can we just show that yeah, we won't do it because we don't have time. But do you actually bring this deep fryer around with you? Yeah. Right? Because you're a caterer, right? Yeah. So you're used to setting up it. in all different sorts of Ovens, locales. Grills, so, off, so off camera you drop those down and we got the uh, magic of television. You actually have them all done there for yeah, us? I do. Okay, nice. So I'm just gonna set this aside for now so I can put the chips down. But it's got those nice dark crisps. That's what you're looking for, right? That, little, yeah. that good crunch. It's not gonna be like a thick doughy batter. It's more of a nice light uh, aerated crispy crunch on there. So when it's come and take out, what are you, what are you serving it in? We serve it in our pizza boxes, the 10 inch pizza box. Right. This again, we'll hit it with some of our delicious slaw. Nice, you can see that slaw. I'll turn this sideways for you as well. And then it wouldn't be fish and chips without a nice heap of tartar. Oh, what's in that tartar? So our tartar is a very heavy duty mix. It's pickled onions. We have gherkin pickles in there, dill pickle, confit garlic, uh, parsley, chives, salt, pepper, and a little bit of secret stuff. Yeah. Well done, Scotty. Okay, uh, Snack Shack. So you, seven days a week you can get it curbside at your location on King? At our location on King right now, we're right. Thursday to Saturday. Okay, Thursday to Saturday. And so check that what I said. <laughs> <laughs> Thursday to Saturday, and then when the golf course is open, which is hopefully soon? Seven days a week. Seven days a week. All right, show those off, Luke, to everybody at home to get those mouths watering, and we'll come back and we'll finish up with Chelsea from Cowbell and get you set for the weekend. This is a perfect Friday. Sun is shining, getting ready for the weekend. Forecast is looking great. Have some suds. We have some delicious eats from Snack Shack that uh, Scott's prepared for us. And we got Chelsea from Cowbell in Thanks her backyard. For Thanks for coming. Well, <laughs> I can see why you don't leave here. I never leave. This is a pretty good setup. Yes. Okay, is. so we got, the, we got the eats from Scotty. Yes. Um, beer pairings. Okay, yes. what, goes, what goes good with some of this stuff? So, 
a lot of this stuff is going to pair great with our summer seasonal sours. See, sours right now are on the cusp of trending. Everyone wants one and they're going to go great with any of these dishes. So the sours are going to go great with the fried chicken because it's going to cut any heat. It's going to pair great with that buttermilk ranch dressing. Uh, the passion fruit punch, a lot of tropical fruits is going to go great with the fish and chips, especially when you squirt some of that lemon on top. The citrus and the citrus is going to be beautiful. IPA. I love the IPA. I know you're I like, a big fan. I like, the, I like the hazy days. So hazy okay. days is our juicy hazy IPA. It's going to go great with those um, beef pork ribs because of the tenderness of the meat and then the cutting of any sort of heat you might have. This is going to cleanse your palate and just reset you. Why do you like working in this industry? This world. I feel like we need to change up the male dominance of the of the beer world and you're going to start to see more and more females um, in the field selling beer because again mama juice I am a mom myself I'm a female I'm selling now and women like beer too right yeah. so uh, we need to sort of start seeing a little bit more of that woman's I, touch selling I, beer. I love the mama juice. The mama yeah. juice. The mama Hasht fuel. Hashtag mama juice. Okay um <laughs> How are our restaurants and bars doing? I know like you're, you're Oakfield to Fort Erie, right? Yeah. You're, you're, you're in these spots, how are they doing? I mean, everyone's had to, to adapt and, and take a curve and, and, and figure out new ways of staying alive. So wherever we can, I think it's great to support the curbside eats and, and the curbside pickup. Um, a few of my favorites that we know here in Hamilton, once the, the restrictions have lifted, we wanna support those, those West Towns, the Pub Fictions, the Tin Cups, the, the Thirsty Cactus. Um, but if you um, aren't gonna do, go and dine out, you can find us, all of these at the Dundurn Market. Yeah. Okay, Dunder Market. Dunder Market, good. LCBO. We mentioned with the summer collection, it's it's a, a it's a cool collection of of of, uh, of some of your beers. Yep. But there's a buck that goes back to yeah. something pretty special. Yeah, so this is um, for every six pack, nice and convenient, easy to pick up. Every six pack that you buy at the retail, so LCBOs or grocery stores or Dunder Market, $1 from every sale is going back to McMaster Children's Hospital. And the reason why that's so amazing is that we are gonna be putting that those funds towards the construction and rebuilding of the oncology unit for the children, which Seriously. is amazing, right? Yeah. So uh, I've been looking to do this all I know, I'll give it a little more. Swirl. Okay. Cheers. Cheers. Cheers, cheers to the weekend. You. Great meeting you. Thank you. Um, you Me got a good too. little setup here. Thank you. You're if welcome. Scott's staying. He's here. He's, yeah. here. he's here all summer. I know. Right. Yeah. <laughs> good seeing you, Scott. Cheers to that. City Farm uh, Snack Shack helping us out this morning too. Happy weekend, everybody.